Hey YouTube, welcome back for another uh, beginner series uh, lesson. Um, this one is going to be on what I would consider to be the basic stroke that every beginner should learn. Um, I, I find with a lot of students who, who don't have um, a background in school band or rudimental snare drumming or, or anything like that, that this often gets um, overlooked or, or even just ignored completely. Um, but really, what I tell most of my students is that this basic stroke, okay, and there are other strokes as well, but this basic stroke, at least for beginners, is the most important thing you're, you're going to learn even before you, you get on the drum set. Um, so, because this mastering the stroke is going to affect your sound, how fluid and smooth your playing is, how fast you can play. Uh, it's just, it's so important, okay? So I want to talk a little bit about this, all right? Now this basic stroke, I call it the bounce stroke. It also is called the legato stroke, um, the rebound stroke, the velocity stroke. Uh, it's got a bunch of different names. The idea behind it is similar to bouncing uh, a basketball or any kind of ball. If you throw a ball down to the ground, it's going to bounce back up, okay? So you want to do the same thing with the drumstick, okay? When you throw it down, you want the stick to bounce back up on its own, okay? Now, now granted, you're not letting go of the stick like you do a ball, okay? But the idea is that you throw it down and the stick itself bounces back up. Your hand is just right, is just along for the ride, okay? Just like that. You throw the stick down and it bounces back up all by itself. Now, why is that so important? Well, one, what I often see uh, with beginners is that they'll play like this, okay? There's a couple problems with this. One, you're doing two motions to hit the drum once, meaning you're throwing a stick down and you're pulling it up. So you're using two motions just to play the drum once. So you're really overworked and underpaid, okay? Second, you don't get as good of a tone. When you're going like this, Okay, when you relax and open up, okay, so you get a much more open tone. A another um, example you can do is like if you hold the sticks real tight and you hit them, you get a real choked sound, but if you loosen up, you can actually hear the reverberation of the wood. It's the same thing on a drum or a cymbal. You're going to get a nicer tone when you pull that sound out and let that stick rebound. Now granted, on a drum set you have different surfaces that, that rebound in different ways. So like the, the rack toms don't rebound as, as well as the um, snare drum. And then the floor toms rebound even less. And then you've got cymbals and all that. So you do have to make adjustments uh, for the rebound surface. But Regardless, your goal is to pull the sound towards you as opposed to trying to stuff it down. Pull that sound out. Okay? Very important. Very important. Okay? And then the other thing, you're going to play much faster. Okay? Because you're doing, you're doing half the work and the stick is doing half the work. Okay? So you're going to be able to play much faster with less effort. Okay? So I, I, this, this stroke, though it seems pretty easy, okay? And it is. All right, but you have to make sure that you utilize it while you're playing the drums. You have to be thinking about it while you're grooving, while you're filling, while you're doing anything, that you're playing with a nice, relaxed grip, which is what we talked about in the um, Get a Grip series, okay? And that you're letting the stick do the work, okay? So, what well, I usually start out doing a basic exercise. This is something from my um, marching and, and, and um, drum corps background is just do eight on the hand. Just like that. Just let the stick bounce. Just like that. Now a couple things to note with the with the grip. Okay, you notice on my right hand, 
I don't have like a really closed grip on my right hand, okay? It's open. And you'll notice that when I'm playing, there's a pocket back here, there's air back here, okay? I'm not keeping my grip like closed like this. It's nice and open, all right, so that stick can move, all right? So you wanna make sure you have air in the back of your grip, that there's an actual pocket back here and that your, your grip isn't closed, okay? Now for mass grip, that would be the same with your left hand. Now for tr traditional grip, um, the biggest issue that I find with beginners in getting this going is once you add the fingers, um, it gets really hard to let go of the stick. What I mean by that is, in order to do a rebound stroke with traditional grip, you can't be holding on to the stick with your ring finger. I mean, you can't be going like this and doing that, okay? In order for the stick to rebound, you gotta let go of it, okay? So meaning, when you start doing the rebound stroke, the stick can, can bounce off the, the ring finger, okay, like a spring. You just don't want the ring finger to constantly be, be hugging it like this, okay? The only time that the ring finger should be constantly hugging or touching the stick is when the stick is not moving, meaning when, when you stop it, okay? But when it's moving, you got to let go of it. Okay, and I do that by just basically pulling my ring finger and my pinky into my hand, into my palm a little bit. I just kind of pull it out of the way. Okay, but as soon as the stick stops moving, that ring finger comes right back up and catches the stick. So it's there to catch the stick. Okay, and it's got other uses as well, more advanced you know finger uh, control type things, which I'll talk about in uh, later videos. But just be, be, be mindful of that, okay? In order to get that stick to rebound, the bottom fingers, the ring finger and pinky together, can't be touching the stick. All right? I find that to be, for beginners, a lot more difficult than, than the matched grip uh, version. But just, again, something to be aware of. Traditional grip has a lot more learning curves that you have to deal with in the beginning. So just to, you know, be disciplined, be, be focused on it, and I promise you um, they'll, they'll work themselves out as long as you pay attention to it, okay? So this is our rebound stroke. So important. So when you're on the drum set, be loose, okay? Don't squeeze, don't squeeze the stick to death. Don't don't put the GI Joe Kung Fu grip on the stick. Just nice and loose. Let the let the let the stick breathe in your hand. And whatever surface you're hitting, whether it's your hi hats, a crash cymbal, tom, snare, the rim, anything, think, pull the sound towards you. Pull the sound towards you. Okay? And try to get as much rebound out of the surface as that surface will give you. Even the floor tom. Okay? Now the floor tom, you might have to use your arm and your wrist more to pull to pull the stick out. That's fine. Again, you'll have to adjust to the playing surface, okay? Again, try to get the stick to do as much of the work as you can. All right, so going a little bit faster. So there you go, rebound stroke. Um, mess, you know, try it out. Really perfect that that stroke. I, I really, I can't say it enough. It is the most important stroke um, that you need to learn right from the start as as a beginner, and 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 get it where it's a habit, uh, where it's muscle memory, where you naturally play that way, and you'll find that your sound on the drums will be more fluid, will be more smoother. All right, it'll be lighter. Okay, and you definitely you definitely want that. Okay, um, because I get asked a lot uh, with beginner with beginning students. I mean, we'll we'll both be playing um, you know some basic grooves and fills, and and they'll ask they'll ask me why even though we're playing the same thing why does it sound different? Okay, and the and the difference really comes down to that stroke. I mean, I, I know that stroke really well, of course, because I've been 
you know, playing um, for so long, and they're still in the process of getting it down. But that is really what's um, what's making there be a difference. All right. So just really be mindful of that, okay? Because uh, it's just overlooked. I mean, because you know, I understand you want to just get on the drums and start just playing and, and rocking out to your favorite songs. That's great. Do that, but just be mindful of what your hands are doing because um, your, your hands really decide what you're going to sound like and what you're going to be able to play, okay? So, so let that stick bounce. Okay? So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm going to be doing many more uh, beginner lessons of various types. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, take care.